by the end of next year, I'm actually going to be buying my first house. Like I'm not, even, I'm like it's it's it's, it's crazy because my like, my mom's like was bugging out because like she she was like you never even rented you never even rented it before you about to buy you about to buy a house, <laughs> but like I I, I, I explained her how, how what I learned from from real estate investing and how it works. Uh, the beauty about living in Mass is that triple deckers is like everywhere. Yeah. Oh, isn't that crazy? Like it really is like intrinsic to like. I thought it was Worcester at first, but it's really just like three deckers were like this thing that happened like in the 1900s or something. Like, like they just happened I, just here, pretty much. Like, like there's some certain areas that they're not, like for instance, California. There's no trip. There's not even two deckers. They don't have. They don't have them. They just have big multi-family. Yeah, they just have. They, just, they, they have. They have multi-family houses, but they're just. They're just not. They're just not up. They're just wide. Yeah, three Our, deckers are a weird like. It's cool. Concept. It's That's good because you can live in one end, run like. Exactly. It's a. It, it, you think about it, it's kind of yeah. I'm like your house is above someone else's house. Like, fuck. Like, Why? <laughs> <laughs> we all got like the same floor. In the but yeah. So let's say like you mean like I seen a triple decker like uh, for like going for like two hundred thousand dollars, which by the way is cheap as fuck. Yeah. It's, yeah. I was looking at stuff with like I think it was I was looking at like bunch of like actually trying to figure out like yeah what's a mortgage payment. Yeah. Call the credit line, bro. We had to I had to talk to like. A, <laughs> But what were you saying? So yeah, so like, um, I think I think the like the very very least the very least you could put down on a house for a mortgage because because it depends on how you do it. It's mostly just percentages. I think it's like that's the, what I learned. It's like you have you can't you can only use seventy five percent of your rent at most. Like, yeah, yeah. The rest has to be supplied with some other income. Yeah, exactly. If you're using that property to like, but so it says ratio yeah. percentages percentages. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, let's say like for a two hundred thousand dollar house, I think the, the lowest percentage you can get is for fifty percent. That's like that's like the lowest. Fifty. That's like the lowest if you if you like got a really good deal on a really good day. Like I mean, like that's a rare that's rare, but like so you're paying fifteen percent. Fifteen percent of that interest. No, no, no. Just, just that's just a down payment on the house. You know I mean so that's I think that's about like thirty grand. So it's so pretty much just to like pretty much lock down like okay, this is my house. Word. Like I gotta drop thirty on it, and then pay the and then pay the month, pay the mortgage, or whatever like that. So now you're what is it breaking it up? So it's about two hundred and eighty thousand. Right, going to like three. Wait, it's one second. On a thirty on a thirty year mortgage or so, not too bad. Let's say for the sake of it, you're paying like, um, let's say I don't know two grand two grand a month in like in, uh, in mortgage payments. Obviously, to triple decker, and it is a really e easy way to house hack it. Where like, well, you own a triple decker, you live on the first floor, two people live above you. You, 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 you get a residential, uh, like, percentage instead of a commercial. Like, if you live in it, so you get a lower rate. Like, it's just, yeah, you, right? you definitely you definitely get a lower rate, and also you get um. Most people don't actually don't even know about renters, uh, or no, about um, land uh, land land owners is that you get a super huge cut. Like for instance, like the, like the dude a dude I know who does real estate, he, he pays like no taxes and like. Almost, almost no taxes in his rent, and and, and all his rent, and he owns like six. He owns like six houses. Oh, How many? In his rent. Yeah. How many? He owns six houses. And he pays almost no taxes in all of them. Because he owns other properties. No, it's because it's because um, he depreciate he depreciates the house by doing it. So it's it's almost like um, he de he's able to depreciate the house. Like like say for instance like um, it's a it's a it's a really weird business thing. Where like let's say I buy a chair. Let's say I buy a chair for business reasons, but then the chair gets destroyed. The chair costs five hundred dollars. I can I can deduct five hundred dollars okay. off like my my profits, and I won't have to pay for that. You know what I mean? Okay. So like say all the damages like a house has, or, or simply like maintenance and stuff. Oh yeah, tax write off. Yeah, tax write off. Tax write off. But also um, on the other aspect too, I guess on a business aspect of it. For instance, I put a, I put an S corp on Silvermine Media, so now I don't pay any taxes either. Okay. <laughs> I don't pay any taxes at all. Um, because of the S corp, because I pay everything out in, I pay everything out in dividends. So it's not like it's not that I, okay, it's not that I don't pay taxes. I pay significantly less up on the business. So like, let's say, let's say for instance, like, because like you guys even know you guys know what S corp is. Yeah, actually, I learned about S corp. Like, it gets taxed different. Like, basically, that one's getting taxed. Like, when it gets incorporated, uh, instead of getting like taxed twice, I, will, I think it gets. I, like, I, I, I want to get my shit incorporated. That's that something I've been. The C corps and S corps. Like. Yeah, so like, so like, pretty much how my S corp. Kind of forget. It's so how the S corp works is like so like so the, the silver mines media right, and then the S corp becomes almost like the boss of, it's 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 almost like the shareholders of the silver mine. Not not really. It's 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 almost like this. It's like the technically the so the S corp is is above that business. So now, and in, in because I own the business, I can pretty much put myself in the position where like, okay, I can either be above the S-Corp or below the S-Corp. 
you obviously want to be below the S Corp. So like, so now technically, even though I own Silver Minds Media, I'm the CEO of it, I I get paid as if I'm a regular standard employee. This is what this is what uh, Zuckerberg does. Even though he gets paid billions, the reason he gets paid billions is because he's in an S Corp for Facebook and his salary is a dollar. So he only has to pay taxes on a dollar. You don't pay taxes on a dollar. So okay. Everything else that he gets, he gets paid. It's, dividends. it's in the company, like yeah, dividends because it's technically like still in the it's still there. company's pay like payout to, yeah. to the employees. Exactly. He just it's not he, through like the typical like way you'd have to do it through a C corp. Like you have to withdraw as like a. I don't even. We don't have to get yeah, that, yeah. So, like, yeah. So pretty much, it's, it's some it's, other benefit. Like, so, benefit so you, you pay taxes on a salary. You don't. You don't pay. You don't pay taxes on dividends like that much. It, it depends. Like, it, it's like obviously, if you're getting paid billions, they're, they're taking. They're taking a cut of that. But at, like, for instance, for me, like my, I, I don't. I barely make over like forty thousand dollars from Silvermine's Media. So I pay like little to nothing. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I pay like, I gotta pay like, like two hundred dollars in taxes. You mean in comparison, if I was making it on a salary, that could that could jump into a couple thousand. Yeah, for sure. One of the first things that I, when I learned about, and the first thing I teach about uh, about money is uh, about even managing it is just discipline. Like for like for instance, it's like um, it's really it's really hard. If, it's really hard to manage money if you're not disciplined as a person, whether it has anything to do with finances or not. Like so, the first thing I recommend anybody to do is really just to um, do. It's like pick one one task and just do it consecutively. For I say at least for the first twenty first uh, twenty one days, it say it only takes five five days for your brain to start developing a habit. I really try to push it for three months. Like for instance, like myself, I literally, I literally exercise six days a week. I don't need to exercise six days a week, but I do it just to keep myself disciplined. Even even on days that I don't want to, because I know I know if I slip on one thing, I'm gonna start slipping on everything else. You know what I mean? Like it's not like I said, it's not easy it's to. It's like, like compounding, like. Yeah. The more you do it, the more it grows. Like exactly. It's like the more discipline I get in one thing, the easier it gets to be disciplined in something else. You know what I mean? It's almost like exponential, like everything. Like, but like, yeah, yeah, I gotta get back on that shit. This is for real, bro. Like when it's like out of, like not doing discipline anytime, it's like, I don't feel like it. That's all it takes. Like it's not about not feeling like it. Like, especially working out. That's one of the things where you're gonna have to feel it. No, 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 exactly. So like that's why I get to, before, before I even talk about money, I'm like, you gotta get disciplined. I'm like, I'm like, you can eat any million in the world, and they're they're a very disciplined person. They have a routine. Like you mean like even 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 if it's a very simplistic one, they still have some form of a routine. You know, I have a pretty basic routine myself. Like you mean, it's not, it's not, I, I I don't I keep myself open throughout the day in, in case I need to do something, but for the most part I have a, a daily routine about everything I do. And then as soon as soon as I was able to do that, like it's made it that much easier. I'm like, okay, I got it. I used to like, the average person spends about fifty five dollars a week on food. I'm spending like nine dollars a week on food, and I'm still getting everything that I need, like nutrients and stuff like that as well. But like that's not easy to like go from like fifty to like you know what I mean to like ten pretty much, and keep it and like and also keep it there too. Because like, the, like one of the one of the other aspects about uh, finances I had to learn was like it really has not it barely it really does not matter how much money you make. It's about how much money you save. You know what I mean? Because like I remember like uh, when I was working, someone was asking about my glasses. Like they're like, why why are your glasses so broken? But like you could have definitely got a new pair. I'm like because these. Funny enough, these glasses are actually making me money right now because the money that I was going to going to spend on new glasses, I'm investing in. So by next year, that money is going to grow to six hundred dollars. So every so literally just it's so literally every day just by having these and not paying for new ones, I'm investing in. Sure. It's like little, little, little. It thing, is discipline, like, like sacrifice in the media gratification. No, honestly. So just like know that it's gonna grow, or like to know that it's gonna be better. 